Hey guys, welcome back to Trendsetter Shaving. Today we're going to be using the 37C slant and we're going to be using, which this is a new one for me, a feather blade. And Geo Fat Boy, if you're watching this, I know you use these quite a bit in your videos. And I'm really impressed with the thickness on here as far as these blades are punched out or however they're made. Um, but I really like that. I like the thickness on them because it, I feel like, uh, you know, once I get that thing set up in here, it's going to stay where it needs to be. And I like the fact that they're Japanese made. So very, very, very sharp. Um, if you know anything about blades, we all know the samurai sword. Yeah, if they can do that right, pretty sure they can make a razor blade pretty good. So, it's actually not what the video is going to be about today. Razor is not the star of the day, but today we're going to be doing a puck review. And if you don't know what a puck is, that's a shave soap. So we're going to be doing the Genuine Ogallala Bay Rum. And I actually stepped it up a notch with these guys and didn't do just the Bay Rum, which is what they're known for. But I went ahead and did the Bay Rum, Sage, and Cedar. So on that note, I'll let you guys get just one more good look at that. Found this on Amazon. Uh, very simple packaging, all white box. Very simple packaging as well with the puck. Very generic puck, but you know what? I like that because it's not a very mainstreamed big corporation business. This is a small mom and pop operation. Glycerin based soap. Um, you know, I'd imagine these guys started out small. So that being said, I wanted to give them a shot with a review because I feel like sometimes the smaller businesses have a better product. So here it is in my bowl, all melted down, gave it a 15 second microwave blast that doesn't alter the soap or the scent, still smells like bay rum with that nice little cedar undertone in there. And uh, I will go ahead and get this loaded, get lathered up, and we will get in to the review on this feet first but I just do want to say um, as far as the soap goes as far as description on the scent I really like it you know it's got that classic bay rum that kind of spicy crisp bite to it that you get with you know your uh, panade or anything else that's a bay rum it's I mean it's really just got that nice undertone to it. There's no way to explain it. I mean, if you've never spelt, smelt Bay Rum, um, you're not going to know until you've smelt it. But it's got that really nice heavy undertone, but it's got the nice crisp kind of topping there of the sage and the kind of back tone of that cedar wood. So it's, it's really nice because it's got the, your classic scent mixed with more of just a manly masculine feel to it because of the cedar so it kind of brings you back to that your lemongrasses or your um, sandalwood type scents but still has that bay rum feel and that's that's what I really dig with this and that's why you know I thought I'd give these guys a shot because just the description alone on Amazon as far as their product goes I mean that one little paragraph even was just enough to sell me so we'll see. Like I said, I will get this loaded up with this feather and we will get going. So I wanted to let you guys see, since this is the puck review, the soap review, how this actually lathers. And uh, I mean, so far, little sudsy, if you guys can see in there. I don't know if you can see that along the edge of the bowl there. Little sudsy, little sudsier than I like. Um, but you know, I'm not giving up hope yet. I uh, just want to see how how much whipping I got to do to really get it cloudy in here. And so far, I mean, it's coming out pretty nice. But I'm not too concerned with that. I'm not too concerned with how much is getting around the bowl. I want to see how much is going in the brush. That's what's really important when you're looking at how a puck is working is how much is actually collecting in that brush. If you guys can see that there. 
And that brush is looking pretty well covered. Okay, without having to scrape the side of my bowl, getting pretty good coverage. So that's so far a good sign. So let me go ahead and wet the face here a bit, get this lathered, and we'll see how she rides. So I was going to go ahead and lather up and just cut right to it, but uh, I figured I'd let you guys actually see how this lathers to the face. Um, as I showed you in the last clip there, it's getting some pretty good clouds going. I'm still kind of working it, still playing with it. Uh, overall, been about maybe a minute in, just swirling, um, which isn't too bad to get something like that going. So we'll see here. Um, well, as I imagined, scent's real good on it. Really like the scent. I feel like the glycerin mix in here is really nice because it's going on really smooth. It's a really light cream, honestly. It's not really heavy, kind of like your Colonel Kunk or something like that. Um, it's more on the lighter side, kind of like a Perrazzo or Arco, something kind of along those lines. But that doesn't mean it's a cheap cream. You know, we'll see here once we get it going. But, um, So far I'm liking how it's applying. It kind of seems to kind of, I don't know if it's that sage in there or maybe the cedar wood, but it almost kind of feels like it's toning the skin, kind of getting it ready to be shaved. I mean, I'm not going to go as far as to say I can feel it lifting the whiskers off my face, but it's doing its job. I wouldn't say that much. So there it is guys, 37C with a feather blade, downstroke, here we go. Definitely can tell that it's a uh, more of a homemade soap. It's a little slicker than some of your manufactured stuff. Which again is why I wanted to try this because I felt the properties on it would probably be more so along those lines. Um, believe it or not. Some of the handmade soaps are almost better than some of the mainstream, um, really well-known stuff because they take a little more time into crafting their product because, you know, these guys realize they're not necessarily a big name. They're not necessarily a known company. And um, <clears throat> I think that being said, they, they take a little more pride in their work and they take a little longer on their soaps. But I mean so far it's got a pretty good ride to it, pretty good amount of cushion. I mean, I feel like it could be maybe a little bit thicker. Um, but I could have maybe added too much water, you know. 
for the most part. I mean, seems to ride pretty good on that first pass. So we'll give it another one, and we'll see how it goes. But so far, I'm happy with it. All right, guys. So here we are, second lather. Uh, I went ahead and worked out a little bit of water. Worked it a little bit longer, probably about a minute and a half. Pretty good lather, not too bad. So we're gonna see how it handles cross grain. As we all know, that's kind of the money pass there uh, as to whether or not something's gonna work good or and protect your skin or it's gonna be a crappy product. But I will say, like, like I said before, I don't know if it's that sage in here or the cedar wood but there's something in there that feels like it's kind of towing my skin because I mean some shave creams in between passes I go to put it on and reapply and uh, there's kind of that bite a little bit at first with this it wasn't really so much a bite it was um, almost kind of soothing for my skin uh, that's why I'm not wondering if there's something natural in there like I said the sage or something that uh, it's kind of acting like a toner for the skin because it's kind of funny because I, I feel like every application I put of this stuff I can, everything just seems tight and right and where it needs to be And I wanted to use a really aggressive razor on this, like the 37C, because um, I feel like using something that aggressive, if a cream can hold up well against an aggressive razor, then uh, overall it's probably a pretty good cream. That's kind of the mindset behind doing that. So we'll get on to our last pass here, maybe. We'll see if I, if I need it or not, and uh, some final thoughts on this, and we'll, we'll see where we're at. Alright guys, so I went ahead and just uh, stopped at those two passes. Um, went ahead and used the Allen block to finish up on this because I wanted the cream, uh, the finish of the cream to stay true and not use an aftershave. So I did that just to kind of see how everything sealed up afterwards. But my skin feels pretty nice. Um, pretty toned pretty tight after that. Uh, I would say it's not something I would use with a straight edge, but for safety razors, pretty good, pretty good ride, pretty good cushion. Uh, cushion. So there it is again, the genuine Ogallala Bay Rum, and again, there's what it actually looks like. But there you go, there's a review on it, and out of five stars, you know, I'd probably have to go with about a four. Because I do feel like um, for being a handmade handmade soap, really good quality. Um, you know, I'm just a little disappointed that I can't really use it with my straights. Because it's not as cushiony as I like for that. But as far as safety razors go, I would definitely recommend it. Very good scent, very good quality at a very reasonable price. So there it is, guys. Until then. Get your shave on.